Good Sunday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram on this Sunday, October the 2nd. Yesterday, the first day of the uh, new month, beautiful, was out driving around, took in a small part of the uh, roller coaster yesterday, and then just did some driving around. It was a beautiful day, and off in the distance, you could see uh, some of the uh, outer cloud bands from what was left of Ian. You could see that out to the east of us as had been forecast, but we didn't see any rain, and I don't think we're going to see any rain out of this. There were a couple of spots into far eastern Kentucky that did pick up a little bit of rain yesterday, but as you can see, just mere scattered clouds at this point, upper clouds, mid-level clouds associated with the remnants of Ian, now just a post-tropical low-pressure system. Otherwise, skies are clear all over the place today, and uh, I don't see a change. I really don't see any wholesale change of anything in the coming days. In fact, the uh, week ahead looks very dry, and as I mentioned yesterday, that's a problem in that we're getting way too dry and we need some rain. But rain is not in the forecast anytime soon. Here's a look at temperatures this morning. We're running actually a few degrees warmer than we have uh, previous uh, to today by a few degrees. As you can see, there are more 50s showing up. The coolest, well, okay, it's a close call, but here about 43 down near the river in Cumberland County near Burksville, uh, and 44 also near the river, uh, Morgantown and Butler County. Everybody else is either upper 40s to low 50s all across the area under a mainly clear sky. Once you head over say, east of Somerset and Liberty and uh, Pulaski County and uh, Casey County, you start to see some of those high canopy clouds associated with uh, the remnants of Ian. But other than that, it is a very nice go this morning, and it should be another pretty nice fall day ahead for us. Here's a look at future temperatures now as uh, take a look at the next 24 hours or so. We start out, we'll say around 50. Just kind of average it out this morning under a mainly clear sky. We'll see highs today reaching the mid to upper 70s. We hit a high of 79 yesterday. It didn't feel that bad, though, with that breeze that came by, especially I set out on our batch back porch swing, and I nodded off. It was wonderful. <laughs> the swing just with the wind just sat there and just kind of, it was kind of like a cradle. It just kind of, yeah, and the breeze was blowing and it, it, oh, tranquility. It was awesome. Uh, we'll have that again today. Notice though, again, far eastern Kentucky only getting up into the 50s. That's because of the canopy of clouds left over from Ian. And yes, there are still some rain showers out that way. But everybody else, once you get west of I-75 today, it's 70s, even close to 80, back toward Paducah and the Ohio and the Mississippi rivers. So it is going to warm up a little bit today, oh, about equal with yesterday. The average is 78, and we hit 79. Uh, so we were just one degree above average. Tonight, everybody will get down into the upper 40s to around 50, maybe 49, 50, 51. You see how it all evens out during the nighttime there uh, with a mainly clear sky. And a lot of those clouds that have been plaguing eastern Kentucky will then move on tomorrow, even though there still will be a temperature difference Look at Pikeville at 61, we'll be at 72, 73, 74 for tomorrow here in Bowling Green, Southern Kentucky, Nashville, and even back to the West as uh, that uh, all the remnants of Ian are not affecting us at all. We could have used some rain out of that system, but it just did not come close enough. High pressure, very strong, blocking any kind of from getting into our area because of just overly dry air and that pattern does not look to change anytime soon here's a look at the maps 
and we'll go day by day, starting with right now. There are the remnants, if you will, or the remnant Ian, Ian, Ian. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, those low pressure, uh, just kind of low pressure systems, little short wave troughs, just kind of just bunching up together. And this thing is headed out into the Atlantic. So uh, still some rain as you head east today, but that will be dwindling as we get into this evening. A little short wave here to the south, not really going to help us uh, produce any rain. Normally it would, but this is an awfully dry atmosphere. So maybe a few clouds, but that's it. Here we go into Monday morning, Monday midday, afternoon, uh, into Monday night, into Tuesday, high pressure, high pressure, Wednesday. Yeah, here comes a system out of the plains, but as I mentioned yesterday, this system is only going to bring a wind change and reinforced Canadian air and or modified Canadian air. By that, I mean it's not going to be as cold as it will be, say, up here in the southern provinces of Canada. But the Great Lakes, upper Midwest, they, they will see some chilly readings the next couple of days. Not cold enough. Well, look at that, though. See that right there? The upper peninsula of, well, the upper UP of Michigan and parts of Minnesota. Yeah, that's snow. Wow. I didn't notice that the first time I looked at this map until right now. And this is thir Thursday. Yeah. Look at that. A little bit of snow. So it will be cold enough for a little bit of snow up there. How about that? So here we go. Thursday, the front comes in Thursday. Oh, look at this. A little bit of mix. Rain, snow mix in parts of Nebraska, um, South Dakota. <laughs> How about that? Wow. Big Arctic high pressure, sprawling high pressure takes over Friday and our temperatures do go down. Not cold enough, obviously, for any frozen precipitation. In fact, we're not going to get any fro we're not going to get any anything out of it at all. There's Saturday, high pressure sitting right on top of us. Uh, now, it is going to turn cooler. It's going to turn much cooler, as you'll see, but uh, rain? No, none. I was hoping that by this coming Friday, we would see something out of that front, but it's just too dry here at the surface. Even if it looked cloudy and even if it looked like it wanted to rain, it, it's not going to. All right, here's a look at the, the uh, excuse me, 10-day trend. As uh, we see that big change in temperature happening as we get uh, into the weekend, the upcoming weekend, you can see it just by the chart and by the graph. And then all of a sudden, it's bottom falls out. Look at this. 70s all this week, 40s for overnight lows each night. The warmest day that we're looking at is Thursday at 82 but then we only go 70 for a high on Friday, and look what happens Saturday. We go from 65, 65 for a high this coming Saturday, down to 39 for a low temperature by Sunday morning, a week from right now. <laughs> it's going to be chilly, really chilly. And in some cases, I would say, it, it could be the first little touch of frost uh, that hits us, depending on how chilly it gets in some of the outlying areas, especially the valley areas, once we get into Saturday night, Sunday morning. So here's your heads up. Those of you that uh, grow fruit trees and crops, any kind of uh, you know late season crops and things like that, uh, yeah, touch of frost, I would say maybe by this time, Sunday morning, a week from today, a week from right now. And right now it's in the 50s. We're talking about being in the 30s a week from this moment, 530. Yeah. All right. You guys have a great Sunday. Enjoy the day. Lots of sunshine. That breeze is going to kick up again from the north at 10 to 15 and mid to upper 70s. All right. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Back here tomorrow morning to update you once again here on the Sam Channel, brought to you by Ace Hardware Marketplace.